Hi, I'm Dr. Rubina Shanavas, consultant gynecologist at Motherhood Hospitals, Indranagar and Sarjapur. I specialize in urogynecology and gynecological endoscopy. Today we'll be discussing on what a pap smear is and what should you do before you go to your gynecologist for a pap smear. Now, what is the cervix? Cervix is the mouth of the uterus which is uh, protruding into the vagina. Now in a pap smear what do we do is we introduce a speculum inside your vagina and then a thin spatula called the air spatula is introduced into the cervix and we take a smear that is a brush of your cervical cells which is then put on a slide and sent to the lab where it is examined for any abnormal changes. This is usually done to screen for cervical cancer because it, if it is detected in the early stages, the treatment options are much, much more. Now, when do you recommend a pap smear is ideally at the age of 21 and the latest recommendation is every three years. After the age of 30, in the same test, there's another component called the HPV DNA. When this is added, your gap between the pap smears can go up to 5 years and you stop when you're 65 years of age. When do you go to your gynec for this? After your periods have stopped. For, the, uh, for at least 48 hours before taking the pap smear, you should not have used tampons or any vaginal douches or creams. There should have at least been two weeks gap after you took treatment for any cervical or vaginal infection. No intercourse for 24 hours prior to the pap smear. If your pap smear shows an abnormal result, then you will be asked to repeat it after three months, which is the time it takes for your cervical cells to regenerate. 